Seems like it. You have passed the last of the barricades. Save your strength. Find a vehicle. Right. That should do nicely. meeting you here. You knew I'd come. I suppose I should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site. <laughs> well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer, you're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. 
I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me? <sighs> Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. enough for killing you. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Must you really fight? Don't interfere. This is between us. here. Okay. Let's dance! Here's a tough one, no doubt. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. He's going to regret bringing Jack back. Uh, yes, well, I hope so. Do not underestimate his attack speed. You must watch his moves. Bury them. Even if he wants you, keep pushing. Break his guard and you will have chance to attack. Right. You gonna be okay? I'm fine, Kev. I wide open. Yeah, it's true. I know the joy of killing. I don't deny it anymore. I don't fear it anymore. All right. Let's just finish this. You're the master of his level. Projectile attacks are useless. Technology will not be the deciding factor here. This battle will be won by sheer force of will. Whoever breaks first, dies first. Then I can't lose. Right. A World Marshal helicopter crashed in this vicinity earlier. It was en route to deliver a cache of cyborg repair materials. Should you locate any conspicuous crates, cut them open. See what is inside. You sure you want to stay on my side, Wolf? Sam's gonna die here, you know. I still owe you a debt. Be careful, Raiden. I know you're stronger now, but remember who you're dealing with here. How about a little less talk and more safe, okay, Courtney? Oh, uh, yeah. Save complete. Raiden out. Just do what I need. Just do what I need. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 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 
figuring those out for yourself. ID locked. A VT7 high frequency blade. The efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My file indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam. Mr. Ryden, sir? Where is she? I'll tell her you've arrived. Sorry, not really. 
It's okay. Follow me. So exactly what kind of... You'll see. You built that? Yep. ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> Off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no smoking flight. <laughs> Roger. Ready for countdown. No time for that. Ignition! right place? Gotta be. It's the only base big enough with security contracted out to World Marshal. All right. I'm headed in. Landed in Pakistan? Yep, amazing. That Sunny is really something. <laughs> she is genius. I have not seen her for quite some time. She is well? Pretty good. A lot, uh, sunnier than she used to be for sure. Like day and night from when I first met her. Ah, that was a difficult time, yes? But I am glad she is better now. It's a good thing I got to her when I did. I used to not like thinking about all the stuff that was going on then. But now I kind of miss those days. Sadness is not like the ocean. Someday you can drink it all up. It's a Russian saying. People, they always try to beautify the past as a, a way to cope, yes? But I know it was not easy for you. I'm sorry for all the trouble. Nah, I wouldn't have gotten her out without your help. Pretty wild to think that was my first job with you, huh? Duh. Certainly I was not expecting to work with you for so long. I remember how surprised I was hearing about you starting Maverick. Well, I could not just abandon the PLA. Really, I think I was more surprised you decided to join us. Yeah. Well, you caught me at the right time. I didn't exactly know what to do with myself. <sighs> you know, Boris, I think Sundowner was right in a way. Killing the Patriots wasn't enough to end war. It didn't create this big, happy utopia. But you know what? Seeing Sonny doing so well, 
Makes me damn happy the Patriots are gone. Yes, I can imagine. You saved many lives. But now here we are, all over again, huh? Indeed. My apologies for putting you through all this. I knew what I was in for. Riding out. Right. Our enemy has multiple options for striking the president in Pakistan. At the base after landing, while in transit within the country, during the meeting. But if Sundowner's right, they're gonna strike within three hours after you killed him. Which means they're either gonna attack Air Force One, or they'll wait until he lands. I kinda doubt there are any Pakistanis on board Air Force One, though. It's not like in the movies. They never let foreign press on the flight. They could try to shoot it down from afar, I guess. But anything the Pakistan Air Force could deploy would show up on U.S. radar instantly. Which means their best bet at kickstarting another war on terror would be post-landing. They're probably set up for the assassination over at the base. You better get moving. In Pakistan already, and so quickly. Ah, science never ceases to amaze me. When it's for peaceful purposes, you mean. <clears throat> well, yes, of course. Of course. I must say, though, the engineer behind that RLV craft looked rather young to me. Yeah, a gifted kid, you might say. I would love a chance to meet her sometime. Why? What would you say to her? Oh, I don't know. It's always just such a stimulating experience. Speaking with scientists from fields other than mine, that is. It often leads to all sorts of new insights, new ideas to work with. And speaking of that, I have yet to meet Dr. Emmerich, too. <laughs> I uh, doubt you two would get along, actually. Oh, you think so? Hmm. Anyway, how are the brains doing? Oh, just fine. Safe and sound in Mexico. Now I just have to get them loaded and en route to Germany. Of course, the real challenge will come after that, I suppose. Yeah. We'll get there when we get there. Indeed. Indeed. Do be careful in the meantime. Hey, Wolf. What did you and Sam talk about before we fought? Nothing of note. He was not one to reveal himself to others. All right. You don't have to tell me. Raiden, I do not feel good about this. Do not allow yourself to be caught off guard. Duly noted. How was the ride? Hey, Sonny. Fine, thanks. Though I wouldn't call it the smoothest ride ever. You sure that thing's really airworthy? Well, well, what do you expect? You're traveling at a few dozen times the speed of sound. I mean, she operates well within all the projected margins of safety, so yes. We'll have to work on the turbulence levels a bit before we can take tourists on it. But come on, you really can't complain. So it's meant mainly for cargo at the moment? Mm-hmm. We got a contract with COTS, NASA's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services. Mostly handling space deliveries, that kind of thing. We also joined the C-3PO, the Commercial Crew and Cargo Program Office's Passenger Transport Program. So soon we'll have private spacecraft bringing crew to the International Space Station. Wild times we're living in. Well, the space race has been over for decades now. It's no longer something countries engage in for vanity's sake. Still, lots of people are starting to see the industrial value of zero-gravity experiments. Plus, the costs are getting lower and lower with each passing year, to the point where we'll have a serious space tourism industry before long. Yeah, I heard about the space hotel the Russians opened up. But we're still not going any further than orbit, right? Well, one company's planning to have a lunar landing craft complete by 2020. Not ours, though. I'm just hoping we can get to Jupiter while Hal's still alive. Jupiter, huh? Wow, that's pretty far. Oh, hey, how did Earth look from up there? I can't even put it into words. I know I was still under the Carmen line, but it looked exactly like every satellite photo of Earth I've ever seen. No borders, no nothing, just a whole lot of blue. Hopefully next time around, I can take my time and enjoy it. Yeah. But first things first, you know? Yep. Well, good luck, Jack. Right in. So there's one thing I still don't get. If World Marshal's making it look like Desperado hacked their cyborgs, wouldn't that damage their reputation? 
Maybe they can hide the fact that they're involved in terrorism that way, but wouldn't they still be liable for the fact that they, you know, got hacked? They probably would, yeah. But the only thing they're looking for here is a profit. Maybe they need to demonstrate neglect if they're gonna make any money off of this. How so? Well, Kevin dug up some intel. Half of the contractors stationed here didn't get their contracts renewed at the end of March. The U.S. government rewrote their contract with Marshall earlier. Had to cut military spending after all, with the recession going on. And so they'll say the contractors were spread too thin to prevent the hacking. Exactly. And that'll only encourage the Army to boost their Marshall headcount. I can't say if the military is directly involved in this assassination attempt or not, but... Well, what happened to the contractors they laid off? Who knows? Hopefully they found work, but... Work like that isn't exactly easy to come by. Ever since the war economy died down, after the Patriots, life's been pretty much hand to mouth for a lot of contractors. Huh. When you put it that way, I can almost understand what Sundowner was saying. Yeah, but starting a war just to boost your profits? That's crazy, Courtney. If there's no work for contractors out there, it's time to find another industry to work in. Not that I have any right to say that, but... Oh, come on, Raiden. Maybe you like to fight, sure, but you're not that... twisted. Yeah, well, in any case, I better get to work. Riding out. <laughs> <laughs>